I'm Jessica McMichael. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at Chalk Children's, and today I'm discussing broken bones. Sometimes people associate having a broken bone as being something that is more severe than a fracture, and in reality they're the same. You can tell a child has a broken bone or a fracture if the child's had an injury, and the skin around the area that's injured could look red or swollen. Another sign of a broken bone would be if a child is noting pain in any part of their arm or leg. There are many times when a broken bone is an emergency. Those times include when a child has pain out of proportion for what you might expect for that injury. If he or she is unable to calm down with Motrin or Tylenol, or if there's massive swelling. And usually it's obvious. Another instance where the fracture is an emergency is when the bone is poking through the skin. If there's a growth plate injury that's severe, it can result in what we term premature closure of the growth plate. The child can actually have shortening of the bone or can develop an angulation, so it can lead to a deformity. Oftentimes in minor orthopedic injuries, like buckle fractures, a pediatrician may feel comfortable applying a Velcro wrist splint, but if that's not the case and the child truly needs a cast, then a referral to a pediatric orthopedic surgeon would be appropriate. Aside from the minor orthopedic injuries, if there's any sort of angulation or displacement of the fracture, or if there's any concern for a child's growth plate being injured, then referral to an orthopedic surgeon, specifically a pediatric orthopedic surgeon, is appropriate. And we at Chalk Children's are dedicated to musculoskeletal health, and we're happy to take care of those kids.